Welcome back to another Mr. Y ukulele video. Today we're going to be looking at the F chord. Now, we've taken a look at C, C major and A minor, and both of those chords only used one finger. Now, as a review, you can go back to those videos just to check, make to, just to, check to make sure that you remember which fingers go where and what those chords sound like. Um, but today we're going to be using a chord with two fingers. And yes, you're going to be using these two. So everybody raise your hand and make a peace sign, and you're going to use your middle and index finger. Now, before we get started, just a reminder. Remember, my ukulele head is over here. You don't want to look like me because we're facing different directions. You want your ukulele head over there. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started with F. Now, the things first things first, F chord sounds like this. And if we play every string at one at a time, you'll hear. And maybe if it was in tune, it would sound better. That sounds better. All right, that's the F chord, all right? Now, we use our index and middle finger to push the strings down. Let's talk about which strings we're going to push down. Now, remember, I like to talk about frets like their buildings, and about strings like their floors. And the first building is the one closest to the head. So our first finger, our index finger, our pointer finger is going to live on the first floor. I'm sorry, the first building, second floor. So this is the first building, and this is the second floor. Now remember, we want to make sure that we're making a hook with our finger so we're not touching any extra strings. So let's just go ahead and put our finger on the second floor of the first building, and let's just play the bottom two strings together. This is just to make sure that we can get those strings, because sometimes we forget about our bottom strings. If you can hear and then we're ready to move on. If you can't hear that, go ahead, take a look at your finger. You might not be pressing down hard enough, or you might be touching this first floor string by accident, so you wanna make sure you're hooking. And one thing that's gonna help you is if you take your thumb and you push it back, all right? If you're making a hook with your wrist, you're probably making a hook with your finger. If you're clawing, hooking is gonna be a lot harder. All right, so now that we got those two strings out of the way, let's take a look at the next finger. F chord is two. The first one is right here. Our second finger is going to live on the fourth floor of the second building. So this is the second building. Let's go one, two, three, four. Now, we want to make sure that we're hooking with both fingers so we're not touching any extra strings, but we don't want to forget about our first finger down here. All right, we got two fingers. We got to remember them both. So let's just go ahead and play the top two strings. It'll sound like this. If you can hear, and then you're ready to move on. Now, before we just go ahead and strum the chord, I want to make sure that we can hear every single string. So let's go ahead and let's try them all out. Here we go. Fourth floor, third floor, second floor, and first floor. If you heard that, we can move on. Otherwise, go back, try it again. Make sure you're hooking. Make sure you're hooking with your wrist and your fingers. Um, make sure you're pushing down hard enough. Now let's go ahead and let's strum it. Play some different rhythms on it. My turn first. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta. Ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta. Now, for those of you who might have noticed this, the middle finger on the fourth floor of the second uh, building is the same finger we use for A minor. Um, an A minor chord is pretty much the same shape as an F chord if you just put your index finger down. which is why I wanted us to play A minor with our middle finger, because that was going to help us out now when we're playing F. So when you're practicing F chord, make sure you start with an A minor chord, just to make sure you can hear all those, and then put down your first building second floor finger. 
to make an F chord. And make sure you can have hear every string. All right, keep practicing. Go back if you need to. Go back to some old videos you need to. And always remember, be your musical best.